New developments in a cane in your corner investigation. A jury in Camden County unable to reach a verdict in the case of a man left paralyzed after he was arrested by Camden County police. As Cedar investigative reporter Walt Kane tells us, the case may not be over just yet. For the past six years, I've spent my life on my back. It's been two years since we first told you about Xavier Ingram. I depend on others to wash me, feed me, and change me. Ingram's neck was broken when he was arrested outside this liquor store in Camden. Surveillance video showed him running from police, then slipping and falling. But what happened next depends on who you believe, Ingram or Camden County Police. Police officers put their knee on my neck and it stepped on my neck. That individual running away in a raining night fell, slipped and fell over a curb, fell on his back and neck, and that's how he broke his neck. This is nothing less than an attempt by Camden County to gaslight the public into seeing what Camden County wants them to see on that video. Now, Ingram has finally had his day in court, his police brutality case heard in Camden County. But after weeks of testimony, jurors were deadlocked, unable to reach a unanimous verdict. We were confident that we have the majority of the jury on the side and the vast majority of the jury on the side. Ingram's attorneys say they will try the case again. This is about Xavier Ingram, and this is about obtaining the justice that he deserves. And candidly, it's so that we can obtain the compensation for him that he needs to get the care that he needs. A spokesperson for Camden County says the facts in this case continue to be transparent. Xavier Ingram's individual actions created his injury. He adds, Camden County Police have among the best oversight in the country. All excessive force complaints are immediately sent to the Camden County Prosecutor's Office for an automatic review for criminality, he says. And exactly three were filed by the public last year. That sounds like an impressive total, but our investigation in 2020 found Camden was under-reporting brutality complaints. In 2018, Camden County Police arrested Edward Minguela, Video shows he put his hands up, but officers threw him down anyway and then repeatedly punched him in the head. Minguela filed four excessive force complaints, one against each of the officers. But police records show only three complaints were filed that whole year. If there's one complaint and there's four individual officers, that equals four complaints. So they can't have three complaints total for the year? Not possible. Police told us they treated the Minguela incident as one complaint, not four. But the Attorney General's guidelines say you can't do that. They say if there are multiple officers involved in a situation, each officer who had a complaint filed against him or her is to be counted separately. As for Ingram, he and his attorneys are already preparing to go back to court as soon as possible. He wants to be able to go home and be taken care of in a way that he needs. I mean, this is not someone simple. Um, that is going to be able to take care of them, themselves. Yes, there may be family members that may be able to assist them um, on, a, uh, on a somewhat frequent basis, but not the type of round-the-clock, 24-7 care that he needs. So, yes, we absolutely plan on not pursuing this further. As of now, there's no word on when the new trial might take place. Do you know something I need to investigate? Call me at 732-738-KANE. Email caneinyourcorner at news12.com or find me on social media. In your corner, I'm Walt Kane, News 12.